Thank you for tuning in to the God Only Encouraging Prayer Series. Prayers from the heart of God who interacts with you through his word to bring you into the very throne room of God to find mercy for your failures and help in your time of need. One of the things that I find that people ask me all the time is, how do you live a spirit-filled life? Well, you don't live a spirit-filled life. The Spirit lives His life through you. It's not something that you can do yourself. It's something that the very Spirit of God Himself does in you and through you. And then the people around you who've known you the longest and know you the best, they'll notice there's a marked difference in your life. They'll see a melding of you. They'll see that you do things differently than you've ever done before. And that God himself is actively alive in you and producing through you the very fruits that you've never seen exhibited in your life before. When you see these fruits in your life and others see them in your life, it encourages them to know that God is active and alive in you. And that if he's active and alive in you, he can do the very same thing for them. So they believe in God seeing the results that the Holy Spirit produced in you so that they too can have a hope and a future. Because many times today, people don't know what tomorrow's bringing. They don't know where their next meal will come from, and they don't know where their next paycheck will come from. They don't know where they're going to make it or not tomorrow or even today. There's some that are listening tonight that, You're wondering. You've got that decision on your mind. You've got that concern on your heart. You've got those thoughts that are running rapid in your mind and giving you anxiety and anxiousness. But I say stop in the name of Jesus. Father, I command in the name of Jesus those doubts and those fiery darts that the enemy's facing and throwing across their minds and putting into their thoughts to be Opt in the name of Jesus. I pray that they cease and assist their maneuvers against you and that you fill them, Holy Spirit, with your joy and your peace that surpasses all understanding. May your peace rule in their hearts and give them guidance that they need at this time of their lives. There's many that are hurting, and I've had so many people today, Father God, that just hurting people, problems and things that people just need to hear from you. They really want to hear from you. Some serious situations, Lord, that people have sent in for prayer requests and patients have needed and things. Father God, they're serious areas, Lord. And these people need your help. They need to know that you love them and you want the best for them and that you're doing greater for them than they can even think, hope, ask, or imagine. It's my prayer, Father God, that for all these that are listening tonight, that you would open the eyes of their understanding and enlighten them and let them see what is the hope of your calling that you've called to them and what are the riches of the glory of your inheritance in having us as your children, the saints, which your son Jesus Christ died for to give us that privilege of coming before you in your throne of grace right now by his blood shed on that cross for us. For it's no longer I who lives, but it's Christ who lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the trusting and believing in the Son of Man, who is the Son of God, who is the Word of God made flesh. I thank you, Father God, that you love us and that you're for us and you're encouraging us and helping us in all the affairs of life each and every day. So I just ask, Father God, that you fill us with the richest measure of your divine presence, that our bodies be wholly filled and flooded with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God yourself, and that you would help us to accomplish greater than we can even think, hope, ask, or imagine by the effective working of your mighty power in our lives. In Jesus' name. Father, I just thank you that there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. For you, by your Spirit, cause us to walk in the fellowship of your Son, Jesus Christ. You've given us the very mind of Christ, and we hold his thoughts, feelings, and purposes. And we know now 
that we have been redeemed from the curse of the law. Jesus himself became a curse for us, for it's written in Philippians, I mean, in Galatians 3, 13. Cursed is anyone that hangeth on a tree. And I thank you for that blood of Jesus Christ that's over me and these listeners, Father God, and all whom you bring this message across their path, that they would be protected by the blood of the Lamb, and that right now, whatever circumstances and whatever situations they face today, or tomorrow, or next week, or throughout this year, Father God, I call them a new life and a new direction and new beginnings because greater are you for them and working on their behalf than he who is in the world. I thank you, Father God, that you're the one who is the victor in every situation. Even as you told the children of Israel before they went over into the promised land, You go as a devouring fire before us, Father God. And you burn down the things that would harm us and would hurt us. And that you go and you overcome what is before us, that we may walk in a smooth path and go by still waters because you're the good shepherd leading us to lie down in green pastures. We can walk in the valley of the shadow of death, and we can fear no evil because you are with us. And because you're with us, we just thank you that we've been set free from the law of sin and death, that it no longer has power over us, for there is no condemnation to us who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And I just thank you for that, Father God. I thank you that you have made us your very righteousness, that you wish above all things that we should prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers, that you cause us to shine with your power in us, operating on us and through us to cause others to want to follow after you. I thank you, Father God, that you have met that just requirement for us. And that you cause us to shine, Father God. Now I ask that you, Father God, allow your righteousness to shine through us. And thank you for it in Jesus' name. Father, we just ask you to help us to live intentionally on purpose, fulfilling all the good works which you have prepared in advance for us to walk in them, Father God. And we are just totally submit to you, knowing that we're fully dependent on you, being finite, needing your help, needing your grace, and needing your encouragement in every situation and circumstance. Father, we can't go one step in any day without having your encouragement and your help and your inward persuasion that you're for us and working through us and helping us in all the affairs of life. We just thank you that on the authority of your word, Father God, that we declare that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ, who has won the exceedingly great victory for us. He who loved us has not let us down in any way. He's never relaxed his hold on us, and he never will. He says, assuredly not. I will not forsake you. I will not forget you. I will not abandon you, for I am for you, and I am with you. You're my body, and I am your head of the body. So, Father, as Jesus being the head of the body and us being his body members individually, and we know that we've been raised together with Christ Jesus into the heavenly places with you, we thank you that you have clothed us with the armor of righteousness and the garments of salvation. They were clothed with the armor of the light of your glory and that you have led us to become one with Christ, being in union and fellowship with him as you raised us from the dead. I thank you, Father God, that we're now seated with you in the heavenly places. And I believe that we are doers of the word and not hearers only. That your Holy Spirit acting in us and on us and through us causes us to want to do those things that are pleasing in your sight. 
I thank you, Father God, that you even put in us the very power and desire to want to do those things that are pleasing in your sight. And because you do that for us, Father God, we are drawn to you. And we pray and interact and commune with you because you show us you're our good Father who loves us and wants the absolute best for us. And we thank you for that. Father, I just thank you that now you can just start the, stir the hearts and minds of these who's here, that they may believe you and your word, and that they would hear your voice, not my voice, that they would know your word, not man's word, and that they would come to know you in a rich, important way that they've never known before. So I just ask right now that you would open the windows of heaven and pour out such blessing on these and protection and refuge and provision in all the affairs of life, that they may know you, the one true God, and that you're active and operative in their life, working miracles in their lives daily so that they can trust in you with all their heart and lean not to their own understanding, but acknowledge you in all their ways and know that you are on a moment-by-moment, day-by-day basis directing their paths. And I just thank you, Father, God, that you've given us a spirit of power and of love and of sound mind and not a spirit of fear. For greater are you, Lord, that's in us than he who is in the world. And this is the victory you've given us, that by the confession of our faith and our trust in you, we are no longer citizens of the world, but citizens of the household of God, members of God's royal holy family. And because we are, you, our Father, are taking care of us and watching over us and taking a personal active interest in us that we may be God's glory on earth just as it is in heaven. That you flow rivers of living water through us towards others that they too may have a hunger for God. And in that hunger that they seek you And that they are fulfilled in all that they do because Christ himself fills us with the very Godhead. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God himself. And because we're filled with the Holy Spirit, because God's directing our paths, even to the point of what we should write, what should we wear, what should we eat, how we should do it, he answers all those questions and he does it all things for you. Trust God right now. If you're hurting, lay your hands on wherever that area is hurting and pray this simple prayer with me. Father, I just command every cell, every tissue, every organ of my body to function the perfection which you created to function. I cast out pain. I cast out infirmity. I cast out disease. I cast out all sicknesses, all problems in the name of Jesus. And I ask you to restore divine health to these and to myself, Father God, through your overflowing grace and overflowing power that's at work and active in us. Now, Father, hear the hearts of the people as they eagerly seek you. And do greater for them than they can even think, hope, ask, or imagine. According to the working of your mighty power, that's at work in them. This very day, this very moment. In Jesus' name. All right. Well, I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed week. And that you see God's supernatural blessing and favor upon your life. That his grace abounds towards you. So that you have every favor and earthly blessing coming to you in abundance. People just want to be good to you. They don't know why. It's because you're a child of the living God. You're a born-again believer. And God himself, being your father, takes better care for you than you can even imagine. And just thank him for it. When you fear, say, thank you, Lord, that you're my provider, my refuge, and my strength. When you hunger, say, Lord, I thank you that you're my provider, that you're the sustainer, and that you help me, whether I hunger for food that's spiritual or food that's physical. My God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Now, Father, because you do supply our needs and you watch over us, I ask now 
that you would give us a good day full of work, full of charity, full of hope, full of favor, and full of the blessing of the Lord that causes us to smile, that causes others to smile by you causing us to smile. Smile on us, shine on us, favor us, and cause us to be a blessing to those who come across our path. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.